New York, New Rock, live music and promotion. Good evening. Welcome to New York, New Rock the show that brings you some of the hottest unsigned rock and roll bands in our area. I'm your host, James Kane. Tonight's band will be absolute drama. We'll hear their music, and they'll perform for us live right in our studio. But first, let's talk with Wolfgang Bush, the founder of New York New Rock, and see what's been happening this week. Hello, Wolfgang. Hi, James. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Now, I know myself that New York New Rock is promoting a night at Hot Rod Club. How do you feel that's going so far? Uh, so far, we are doing pretty good. Uh, January, February, we used to uh, establish a program and a format. And uh, now in March, we're coming uh, with a TV show and heavy promotion. And it is a Friday night. I failed to uh, mention that. Now. Yeah, it's every Friday night. Um, and the club is located at 11th Avenue, side entrance of 28th Street on the second floor. Now, you'll be there right until the summer? Uh, I think, yes, I, I hope so. Uh, I would say by about April, this place is really jumping. Yeah. Now, we had a band here last week. Um, they were Atomic Clock, and they played there on Friday night. Yeah, that was their second show. Um, we had them back. They um, finished uh, recently a CBS demo, and it was a great show. Yeah, there's a good crowd and everything was fine at the place. And yeah, it was, was uh, pretty uh, jumping that night. It was yeah. a real, real good evening. Yeah, I enjoyed the Tom O'Clock, good band. I'm sure they went well. Now, this week, we have a band on called Absolute Drama, and we'll, they will be there. I know that coming up. Um, what about this band? Tell me something about them. Um, they heard about me doing Hot Rod, so they called me and I went down to see them live. And uh, what I liked most about them, besides the songs, is the uh, audience participation. Oh, you mean... so, uh, from there, I, I really thought it's a great band. They get you to move. They have, um, you know, they bring flowers, and that's really, it's really nice. Really put the crowd kind of involved. <laughs> yeah, with they now. start singing and jumping, and that's oh, really that good. That sounds good. Uh, I wanted to mention one more time, because last week I had a few people who called in and asked us about getting into the Hot Rod Club. Uh, well, the complimentary way... passes they <laughs> asked me about. <laughs> well, the only way you get complimentary is if uh, you see the show, you call in, and uh, we arrange a guest list for you. So if people out there give give a call, they'll get in for nothing then. On a Friday if, night in New York, huh? If not, it's a $7 cover. cover. Which still isn't bad for New York City, definitely. Not to see a New York New Rock show. No, no, definitely. <laughs> now, the, the band tonight, Absolute Drama, why don't we um, get right to it, let's introduce them, and let's start the music. Why don't you give them their intro? Uh, well, this is uh, Absolute Drama right here on New York New Rock.
I'm back with Absolute Drama. Just got off the stage, and here we are. Welcome to the show, guys. How you doing? All right. Why don't uh, we go around, introduce yourselves, tell me where you're from, the whole bit. Okay, um, I'm Jay Guerin, guitar player from uh, Elmont, Long Island. All right, Jay. Uh, Phil Richards, vocalist, Pensacola, Florida. Florida. <laughs> Kevin Reed, bass player. Penitentiary. Penitentiary? <laughs> Just got out. And, uh, right. I actually want to Long Island. Or Penitentiary, Florida. Right? <laughs> One of those places. Andy Pritikin, keyboard player from New Jersey, Caldwell, New Jersey. Okay. Oh, boy. Mike Langford from Uniondale, New York. All right. So we got all these little areas in New Jersey here, Florida, an interesting combination. <laughs> uh, being a performer myself, uh, I'm into, I'm quite a dramatic person at times, you know, and I'm into your name, Absolute Drama. Why don't you tell me, where did you get that name? Kev. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, is your response? The name is Kev. Oh, sort of. The name came from sitting in one of your local taverns and uh, trying to come up with a name for a band. Crystal Ballroom, everybody knows that. We came up with that. No, no good, no good. So I sat in and I said, well, after a few more Coca-Colas in the tavern, I said, <laughs> what kind of name could we come up with for this band? And this is before I met everybody else. And Absolute Drama was the name. So you got you this know. name before you met everybody. Actually, yeah, actually looking at a bottle of Absolute. Ah. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. looking at it and Just wishing, looking, not of course, course, drinking Coca-Cola. Yeah, because we don't endorse drinking on the show. And never. Absolute oh, Drama never, never <laughs> drinks. <laughs> we know that. No. Absolutely. Just it's sex and rock and roll. <laughs> so then how'd you get started from here? I mean, well, what, how'd you guys meet or everything? I, w I woke up one day and I said, well, you know, I want to start a new band. And I put out a newspaper ad. And Jay was the only guy that we picked up from the newspaper ad. <laughs> met Mike, met Mike through Jay from Jay, him speaking through Mike, through Mike, okay. and then Mike knew Andy. I, I knew Mike. <laughs> Mike knew Andy from from one of the places that we used to hang out in. We won't we'll say hang out in. <laughs> and then and then I knew a friend who knew we needed a lead singer, and so that's how we met Phil. And Phil was actually last. The lead the last Phil guy. was actually the last right. guy. Yeah, we know. stuck together wow. without a lead singer. Yeah, really. Yeah, for two years. Okay. Did you all write like everybody writes to the you know lyrics and music or um, one guy or? Yeah, it's Pretty basically much. a group group effort. You know, yeah. we all have input in whatever we yeah, write. Even the lyrics come up with a few lines and kick it around? Or yeah, and you know, we all get a, a yay or a nay from the rest of the band. Mm -hmm. Now, before the show, I was talking to you guys, and someone mentioned that you opened for a pretty known band around town. Uh, who wants to tell me about that? The, the, fix. Fix. the Fix. It was Mike's girlfriend. Fix. I got it. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is, that, is, is that your girlfriend, Mike, uh -oh. in the back? Yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend. Just, just the only thing he's had. So you actually, you actually opened up for The Fix, yeah, then? Yeah, for The Fix. How did we get it? What happened was we, had, we put on our own show. This is before we had yeah. these two girly men. <laughs> and uh, we put our own show on, and this girl that I knew came down and saw us. And she worked on the comics She's going to watch this. Her, her name is Angela, <laughs> by the way. Okay. And uh, she got, she just went to the comics committee and asked, you know, for us to open for the fix. And from there we opened. Yeah. And you opened, where was that? You said Jay. Hofstra, Hofstra, Hofstra yeah. and that show went good. You're happy yeah, with yeah. that? And uh, Actually, good feedback? Yeah. From what I hear, being the newest member, the newest yeah, member I, who was not there, yeah. from what I hear, our band, because we're a Hofstra band, or we, at the time, were a Hofstra band, Sold more tickets than the fix. Ah. It's a rumor. It's okay, just a rumor. It's rumor iffy, it's iffy. It's, that's that's good. <laughs> it's that? a good sounding rumor. It <laughs> sound, does sound good. They did possibly sell more possibly. tickets that's than good. the fix. Never played a again. Yeah. Yeah. Played Hofstra and again. the fix <laughs> might back. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the comeback. So that's cool. Now. Uh, now, Wolfgang, how did Wolfgang and New York Rock uh, hook up with you guys? I was, I was Andrew, the Village Voice. That's his story. Yeah, the Village Voice. You know, there we're, we go. we're looking for any single break we can find, and I see this little thing that says, uh, call Wolfgang for gigs. Yeah, and so, it worked out, right? Well, then I, I mean, called Kevin and said, call Wolfgang for gigs. <laughs> so, and I called Wolfgang. <laughs> and you called Wolfgang. Yeah, and then so we were talking. Gigs. And Wolfgang gave you gigs. So oh, Wolfgang, Wolfgang had a setup pretty much because he also had something for us a week later that he wanted us to play at uh, Hot Rod. Yeah. And we couldn't do it because we also played on the 7th and he wanted us to do it on the 9th. And so I figured it wouldn't be a good idea, but, and then he called a week later for this show. Yeah. He mentioned uh, to me that you guys, he saw you guys at a club in New York and the audience, you know, real participating. That's what we go and, for, yeah. Yeah. That's the show. Was, that's the we'll enjoy that. Bitter end. Bitter end. That Bitter was, end. that's kind of what Absolute Drama is all about. We're not Absolutely. just a band that plays music. We're a band that tries to, tries to give the crowd something a more, show. something they can, 
Sink that you relate to. Get the money. Get the money. That sounds good. That sounds good. I they can see that. They gotta buy drinks, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's up now in the nearest future? Why don't you tell me? I hear you guys got a lot. I call these guys answering machine. It went on for five minutes. <laughs> what they're doing. So these guys are around. So look for them. Why don't you tell me where you're um, at? Um. Okay. Next Thursday night at uh, February 15th. We're at February's in Long Island. Okay. Friday night? No, it's Thursday night. Thursday night. It's a showcase for the studio that we. Were okay. At. The dates might be a little off because sometimes we do film. You know, we're a little film in advance our show. So the gates might be off, but they are around. Just give okay. me like general clubs right. or basically. And then, uh, well, in March. 16th. March would be March good. 16th. March 16th. March okay. 16th. Kenny's Castaways. Okay, right. that'll the show will definitely be on before that. 24th so. at Hot Rod, right? And the Hot Rod 30th. Club. 30th. 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 That's 30th. 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 a Friday, Friday night. night. That's a big Friday one, night. right? The, Hot, the Hot, Rod. Hot Rod. Let me just tell them the Hot Rod Club. 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 <laughs> Duh. It's one of the best places I've been to. And you were there Friday night, right? I was there last Friday night. They have a VIP lounge. that is hard to believe yeah okay we i mean the VIP we yeah. get to hang yeah. out in the vip oh, lounge cool. all night all right. and i mean for a club it's totally clean i mean it's something you don't usually see yeah. it's a totally clean club and the stage for a band is an ample side stage for a band great to sound there yeah, too great Decent sound lights system. you know and a great place to hang out and the cars the cars and the cars and the, the vip, VIP lounge <laughs> and a movie screen it's like a drive-in theater he loves it he loves it okay just remember when you're back there with your girlfriend just think of what you can do in the cars. <laughs> <laughs> Pick the right car. The March 30th. March 30th. March 30th. Hot Rod Club. Look You'll want these guys. to see us. <laughs> Bring a lot of women with them, right? <laughs> okay, now you're going to come and you're going to do two more songs for us, right? Right. right. All right, um, well, just tell me the names of those quickly. All right, well, let's tell the ones we just played. Yeah. We just uh, played the first pull, on one me. pull On Me. Pull On Me. And then Lolita. Lolita. Right. We're and do now we're going to do Small. Right. Which is dedicated and to our backup singer. Hollywood Smile, right. dedicated to Marilyn Monroe, and the last song? Life, Life takes, takes more, more than, than one day. day. Wait. All right. Okay. And we're filming this on, on what will go down in history as Nelson Mandela Day. So that's yes. right. That's right. So Life Takes More Than One Day is for Nelson We'll Mandela. dedicate that to Nelson because we are filming the day he was freed. Okay, guys, now we're going to go right to, you're going to set up, get ready to play, and we're going to go right to rock news. So roll the tape. Rock news, guys. <laughs> I'm back with rock news. First of all, thanks for Wolfgang for our set decoration this week. Some big news in town is that CBS Music Video announced the release of a video biography of the Rolling Stones. It will include interviews, rare footage, and a lot of special things. Now, that's something I'm definitely looking forward for, so keep your eyes open for that. Uh, last week, I mentioned Aerosmith's video, Janie's Got a Gun, being the number one video. Well, also, their album, Pump, is right up there in the top ten. So congratulations, Aerosmith, for a great comeback. Also, a nice performance on Saturday Night Live. Some good news for Adam Ant. He's back in the studio. He's working on an album, and he's hopefully looking for a summer release. On the charts, Michael Bolton's song, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, still number one. The top albums are Phil Collins, But Seriously, and also Millie Vanilli. Girl, you know it's true. On the college charts, it's The Sensual World by Kate Bush. Also, Strange Angels by Laurie Anderson. Uh, it's, it's good to hear all this news on the college lesson. Uh, Laurie Anderson is one of my favorite performers. Also, last week I talked about the Asashi broadcast team. That consists of Ryo Kawasaki and Minoru. They are doing a radio show featuring our own Wolfgang Bush. This show will be broadcast throughout Japan, so that's a great step for New York, New Rock, and Wolfgang. Obviously, we're definitely heading for international markets. Uh, one final note, that all of us in New York, New Rock, wish Billy Idol a quick recovery from his motorcycle accident. Okay, now we're going to take you right to the back to the band, I should say. Absolute drama. <laughs>
This is James Kane thanking Absolute Drama for being with us. And also, we'll see you next week from New York, New Rock.